The average life family seems inflation once again remains high and it is having an impact on the markets, both stock and crypto. So let's go ahead and take a look at this data because inflation in the US ended up rising in April with prices rising 0.4% in a month compared with March. This is due to a surge in the price of gasoline and rent that were the huge key indicators. And although inflation has fallen from its peak of 9.1%, it is still around twice the pre-pandemic level and well above the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%. I don't believe we're going to see 2% inflation rate within the next decade unless the Federal Reserve rises interest rates above 10 percent and that is just going to have a massive blow on the economy think of the amount of unemployment that's going to rise because employers are going to be unable to keep up with the rates and being able to pay their employees so rents is one of the huge factors shelter costs which account for about 40 percent of the core inflation increase rose 0.4 percent for the month and are up eight 0.1% over the past year. So this has to do as well with uh, policymakers because there was an increase in property tax, if you guys didn't know, and for the homeowners who are renting out their homes or their apartment to renters, of course, they're going to increase rent in order to keep up with the property tax payments. So rent did increase as well as gasoline now gasoline was a huge indicator if we could go ahead and we can see after declining for two months energy prices reversed that trend in april and rose 0.6 percent fueled by a three percent increase in the cost of gasoline now policymakers uh pretty much in the u.s if we are talking about policymakers we're talking about the biden administration it's going to come out like kareem john pierre and tell the people we have done an amazing job bringing down gas prices but the reason gas prices are high is because at the beginning the deals are not being made the deals are not being made with saudi arabia the deals are not being made with russia because we're sanctioning we are sanctioning them off of course they're in a current war with ukraine but that's having a major impact on the economy as well so taking a look at other data here we can see that the cost of groceries as well has declined so it declined for a second straight month but annual prices remain up 7.1 percent compared to the same time last year and prices for beef and veal ham chicken fresh vegetables and lettuce increase in april while the prices of eggs fell the cost of coffee citrus fruits milk pork fish and seafood declined so you're getting cheaper coffee but you're getting more expensive meat which is overall bad it's like at this point in age people are choosing to eat out rather than to buy groceries because it's pretty much at the same price and cost of what we are seeing so this is massive chaos and cars saw an increase of price as well, up over 4.4% over the month. Not beneficial, but at the same time, who in their right state of mind is currently looking to purchase a car in this economy when even groceries are seeing major price increases. So here, the U.S. is not the only one that's in the state of mayhem. We can see India's annual retail inflation fell to an 18-month low of 4.7% in April, down from 5.66% in the previous month due to easing food prices. So seems India is doing actually better than the U.S. at the current moment in battling inflation. So food inflation, which makes up nearly half of the overall consumer price basket, moderated to 3.8% from 4.7% of the previous month. So core inflation also remained below 6% for the second consecutive month and the Reserve Bank of India targets an inflation rate of 2 to 6%. Now this also has to do with the GDP being completely different in India than the US. We know in the US there's plenty more variety of products to choose from and if consumers are not spending those that money on those products it's going to have a direct correlation on the rise of inflation in the economy. So here we have the U.S. Treasury yields to rise amid debt ceiling standoff. Talking about the debt ceiling 
Analysts have polled that U.S. Treasury yields will rise significantly over the next month as President Biden and lawmakers have about three weeks to strike a deal over raising the $31.4 trillion U.S. debt limit. This is insane that we have a debt limit at $31 trillion. No one would have ever thought of this, and we still have to raise it because it is just not enough. So half of the respondents in the poll believe that the risk of a U.S. default is higher this time compared to prior episodes of debt ceiling brinksmanship, which we have seen in the past. Now, other half believe the risk is the same, and elevated worries about a default are set to push Treasury yields higher with U.S. two-year and 10-year yields forecast to rise over the coming month by around 20 and 10 basis points, respectively. So what is U.S. Treasury yields? Pretty much how the U.S. makes a huge portion of its money is through investors, investors that invest in the U.S. and earn an interest on that investment, probably being around 2-3%. Usually, U.S. Treasury yields have to have a higher combat than the current inflation rate. So if inflation rate is 6%, then yields have to see a return of about 7% in order to be profitable and attract investors. So if the yields are rising, it is beneficial to those investors. But at the same time, if the U.S. defaults on their debt, then it's going to hugely or massively lower the trust on investing in the U.S. So there's going to be a lot less money being given through treasury yields and the U.S. could possibly lose its place as the national dollar being the most liquid fiat currency out there. So it is not looking good in that aspect. We're definitely going to keep our eye on this as the U.S. debt bill makes its headway around the Senate. What changes are made? And if it ends up ultimately going up to Biden for him to either sign or veto it. If you guys enjoyed this update, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. Catch you guys.